Good morning. Here's what it looks like for a morning with farm girls headed to the barn to do the chores. 25 degrees this morning. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell and we have eight children and we are just the Bells 10. Bright and early morning. There's our other worker going to the barn to start washing and weighing eggs. And it's 25 degrees, like I said. Look at the ground. You can actually hear it crunch under your feet. And the farm girls don't wear boots in the UP. We wear slides all day long. Good morning. Here's our barn in the morning. Good morning. What are you doing? You could have picked this up. You know, we had to walk over cold. Oh, oh, so she comes at seven all the time. So here's our egg washer. Yeah, she is. So in the morning, we just come. We walk the egg barn. We get our belt going. And wait for the eggs to come. It's freezing today. Turn that heat on. It's freezing. Oh. <coughs> All right, while we're waiting for the eggs to come, let's get the barn together. I'm showing them what it's like being on a farm in the morning. Getting eggs. There's a couple eggs. Oh, sorry. I can't do this with one hand. There's Haley. Good morning. You can help me. You see I'm trying to do some work here. Gotta go where? Oh, I'll get the wheelbarrow, yeah. Okay, there they are. Oh, look at that, there's white egg. One white egg. Shut the door! It's freezing! <laughs> Here's one white egg. Look at this, isn't that crazy? Good morning, chick chicks. Here, chick chicks, here, chick chicks, here. Here, chick chicks, here, chick chicks, here, chick chicks. All right, so I got the belt going. We got the machine together. Oh, there we go. We got this from Big Dutchman. So now what we're gonna do, here we go. I'm trying to get this together. Eggs, so here's our machine. This is the blower. So the eggs come through here, which I'll show you. And then we carton them. And then once we're done carting them, see I condensed all my food so we're not using those freezers right now. And then here's our back stock here. After we get done cartoning the eggs and labeling them, they go in our cooler. Today is gonna be a delivery day. There's my dog or chick magnets. So now I'm gonna get a basket and we're gonna go collect eggs. Looks like we already got a little bit of eggs. All right, got the machine together. I'm trying to do this so you guys don't uh, get sick. So I'm the one that grabs the eggs, weighs the eggs. Right, here we go. God, not, you don't wanna spook them, so. Good morning, chick chicks. Good morning. So we have to come through and get the eggs in the morning because we do have some chickens that um, aren't laying eggs in the nest. And they just started laying this week. I don't know if you guys can hear me. They just started laying this week. And so I have to weigh all the eggs. Um, we sell our small eggs really cheap. Just we put it online and say, hey, who wants you know, a flat of eggs for a dollar. Our mediums and our larges I have to weigh because um, because they're different sizes, we sell them at a different price. And oh, here they all come. Good morning. So it takes us like three to four hours to weigh all these eggs. And it takes three of us. So I'm gonna collect the eggs. Then we're gonna start bringing the eggs off the belt, weighing them, and as I get baskets of them, I run them through, Haley cartons them. Uh, so that's kind of the, the what we do. And so the chickens, when they're small, they don't go out right away just because of predators. But um, our normal schedule is after they get done laying, then we open the barn doors and they go outside. Unless there's snow and it's cold, because then they'll get too cold and you'll get all that snow in the barn. But good morning. So let's start, uh, let's start collecting eggs. Good morning. So there's eggs on the ground. Excuse me, chick chicks, don't go crazy. Okay. You guys gotta move over. I know there's eggs in there. 
I know. Oh, there we go. Okay, relax. I'm not going to. We got a couple chickens that are a little crazy. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Come on, guys. Or girls. Come on. Let's just walk really slow. So the feed is on a timer like I had told you. So the chickens, the lights come on at 4.30 in the morning. The lights are timed. And we do have to adjust the time in the winter because chickens do need a lot of light. Oh, there's another one. Chickens do need a lot of light, so we have to make sure that we adjust the time. In the summer, of course, we don't have to do that because we have longer days. Uh, in the summer, our, it gets light around, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the morning, 6, 6.30 in the morning. And then, look at that white chicken. I don't know how that happened. Excuse me, guys, girls. And then, um, boy, it feels cold right here. I have to tell my husband to adjust those blowers. And then um, it doesn't get dark till 1030. So there's another one. For you guys not liking me, you sure are. Look at, they're all following me. I actually really love my chickens. I love them so much. I love coming in here and just watching them. I love listening to them. And, uh, oh, we got a couple more eggs. I have eggs down at the end, but I can't get those eggs because the chickens were hovering me. And we just have to make sure there's no chickens in the corner. Um, we have to make sure they're not stuck. Sometimes they can get their feet stuck. So we just got to make sure that they're safe and healthy. The temperature is okay for them. It does feel kind of cool, though. I have to ask my husband. But they can adjust their temperature um, by they huddle. And so they can keep the barn warm. And then, I know this might sound disgusting, but when they go to the bathroom, it goes underneath the, the crates and it dries. So we actually use it as fertilizer a couple times. Well, several times throughout the year, my husband will uh, take the ends off and take all the fertilizer out of here. There's another one. And so they, the fertilizer also serves as heat. I know that's gross, but... Our chicken's good? Okay. I just got to make sure there's none stuck. There's none that are sick because if they're sick, we're going to have to remove them and put them in their own place so they can heal because chickens can be very vicious. And if a chicken is uh, cut or if a chicken is sick, other chickens will pick on it. And we have to make sure that we can, uh, hopefully they can survive and get healthier from the injuries so we do come through the barn a couple times a day just making sure everything's okay nothing's falling the feed is coming like it should the chickens are healthy the temperature seems fine we get those barn doors open look at now they're all coming to me <laughs> at night i'm gonna have to come at night tonight so i can share with you guys they sing and they coo at night it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to start stop talking so you guys can just listen to the chickens tell me good morning. Okay, I don't like the eggs on the bottom of the ground because now I have to bend over and I hate bending over. Excuse me, relax. But for the most part, I mean, all the chickens are learning to lay in the coop. We got a couple over here. Any more under there? You guys see anything under there? All right, let's go. Oh, I see another one. Oh, I don't want to go up here. Ugh. Excuse me. I know, just relax, just relax. You don't have to act all crazy. I think that was only, hope they don't knock my eggs down. And we do clean out the barn just to make sure they are in a clean environment. Sometimes I feel like my barn is cleaner than my hot kid's boy. Well, my boy's bedroom. There's one. There we go. All right, girls, I can't get through. Okay, come on. So I bet the other side of the barn's completely empty. Go on. 
So this is our morning routine for our Bell girls. Everybody says my daughter doesn't work and she just earned her house by herself. Well, she actually had to wake me up today. Oh my goodness, I have rocks in my shoes. I have squirrels in my pants. Okay. Whoa, stop it. I thought I saw an egg. I'm so glad I don't want to jump up there. Come on, girls. So hens are a lot like women, right? They, they don't want to be around you. But yet, they follow you everywhere. Ba bang! Woo -woo. I should do a TikTok on that. Oh, darn it. Look at that. There's an egg up there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't get through these roosts. I'm too short. This is a pain in the Royal Rumpariski. All for one egg. Okay, girls, where'd it go? I know it was here some, oh, there it is. Woo! I feel like I'm doing hurdles. Don't knock that basket over. Ugh. Oh my goodness, you guys should see what I'm trying to get over. I got little legs. Watch out, watch out. Okay. This is a pretty intense egg collection, right? I got screws in my pants. Ah! My back is killing me. My kids destroyed me two days ago, knocked me right down on my butt with a TikTok. Holy gamoles. Holy gamoles. My back is killing me. I couldn't even go to church last night. My back hurt so bad. It's just tweaking. I told my kids, I said, man, you laid me out. We are a cage tree farm. I'm very proud of that. And my chickens are free range. So they're protected at night. They come in and they will naturally come back in. Oh, there's an egg. They will naturally come. Oh, there's two eggs. They will naturally come back in the barn at night when it gets dark because they know that they're protected here. Hi, ladies. Excuse, scusi, scusi. I better go a little far away because I'm missing some eggs. There's another one. Excuse me. They've actually been really calm lately. At first they were kind of cray cray. I'm using all these hip words, right? Cray cray. Scusi, scusi. You gotta make sure you're just calm and quiet, not like what I just did. I don't see any chickens that are hurt. I don't see any chickens. Sometimes we do find, unfortunately, chickens that are not, that are dead because they smother each other. They get scared. Chickens have high anxiety. <laughs> okay. Scoozy. I know, I know you guys are psycho down here. Oh, there's another one. These chickens look beautiful. Holy cow, you guys look great. You're so healthy. Look at you. Shine, girl, shine. All right, I need to get up here, y'all. This is where we find all the eggs. Yep, okay, we gotta get up here. Here we go. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Could you get out of the way? Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. All right, I think I'm good. Haley's got deliveries in Iron Mountain today, so I gotta get going. You know what, you guys are afraid of me, but yet you follow me. Look at this, whole crew fell and followed me. All right, let's get out of here, excuse me. All right, Haley's got some yuckies there. So now we're just putting the eggs through, weighing them. Oh, you need a garbage can? Okay, putting the eggs through. And then we sell our smalls and we also compost, compost some of our smalls. So, okay, I'm gonna start weighing so she can run them through the belt. She's already got some ready to go. And then we, they come through here and we stamp them and carton them. Okay, so as they come off, we grab the eggs off the belt and we weigh them. And we do this for hours. I have a 
large bucket and I have feathers. I have lots of feathers. And then I have a medium bucket. I have to lower that so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, we are getting into our larges and our mediums. We're getting quite a few mediums. Um, a large is two point. Are these mediums, Haley? Yeah. Um, a large is two ounces. A medium is 1.75 ounces, and a small is 0.5 ounces. Do you want to help her until I get some eggs for you? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me go over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. But you can't see my head though is the only problem. Uh, how about that? Does that work? Yeah. So. As the eggs come off, I just weigh them and we put them in their appropriate cartons and we do this for a while. So maybe this will be better. Let's do this, because I can do this one. So we just weigh it. I pretty much know that's a small. I won't do all of this because you guys are gonna be like, large. She what? There you go, baby. There you go, Rosie Posey. Her the ninth girl. So we do this for hours. It takes hours to do this. It's ridiculous. But once we get into our larges, we won't have to do this anymore. So yeah. That's my small bucket there. That's my large bucket. All right. All right, so now that I have a pile of eggs, I load them for Haley. The egg drops. brushes that cleans the eggs and then they come out here Haley cartons them with her coffee and then sticks them in these boxes BSB farm eggs yeah baby Okay, we are done with eggs. Now we're gonna clean up, get her out the door because she is delivering eggs, clean the floors, clean the track. Two hours and 16 minutes. Okay, we're all cleaned up. Looks nice. Clean, clean, clean. Floors are clean. We like to clean a good, keep our barn clean. Here is the deliveries going out today. There is 77 cases of eggs right now. Gonna be going out for Haley right now. Ooh, don't I look good? Okay, so it is now 9.44. I got all the eggs ready for Haley. I wanted to show you guys something. Hold on a second. So we have 56 cases of eggs going out today for our Iron Mount Mountain Run. That's 1,155 dozen eggs going out today. That's 13,000 680 six something eggs going out today and then tomorrow we have more eggs to go so Haley just finished cleaning the barn um, I got everything organized for her now she's going to clean up have coffee with me then run another four-hour trip to deliver eggs and look at this is a wee lad this is a wee lad egg this is how they start out when the chickens start laying the eggs see how little that is and then they get bigger. Maybe on my next video, I'll show you guys what a pullet, small, medium, and large is. Well, thank you so much for being a part of our morning barn chores that start in the wee hours 
of the morning and dark and we get out and it's sunny. And she's still over there actually. I said, I have to go, I have to go get coffee. So thank you so much for joining us for our morning barn chores. Subscribe and like our page and follow our family, Just the Bells 10, to watch us on our farm. I think I'm gonna start doing daily vlogs of my kids. Start following my kids around, see if any of them wanna do it. I ask them first, of course. I can't do it with the kids at school though, but my boys work and they might love that. So anyway, like I said, please subscribe and like our page. Follow our family, Just the Bells 10, for our farm life, our new Cooking 101 class. And we got some huge things happening with the Bell family. Oh my goodness, I feel like craziness is all over me. Thank you so much for spending your morning with me. Have a great day.